Welcome back, everyone. We are taking you straight outside tonight for a live look at the moon. In about four and a half hours, we will be able to witness history, a total lunar eclipse on the winter solstice. It hasn't happened since 1638. That's 372 years ago. Now, if you stay up late enough tonight, you will be able to get a good look at it yourself. Sue Palk is outside right now. So, Sue, when does it all get started? Oh. As you said, Sean, in just a couple of hours, it's actually in phases, and part of it will get going at about 1.13 or so in the morning. Uh, about 1.30 or so this morning, you'll notice a bite starting to be taken out of one edge of the moon, uh, and that bite will get bigger and bigger until 2.40 in the morning, and that's when the moon goes totally into the center of the Earth, into the, the fully into the Earth's shadow. And by the way, we'll get more into this. This is Jeff Chester, everybody. Jeff is a longtime friend, and we are so glad he's come over from the Naval Observatory where he is a spokesman. And you've been getting a lot of inquiries about this. Is this a big deal that we're having a total eclipse on the night, the time of the winter solstice? Well, it's not really a big sort of cosmic deal, but it is a very interesting uh, in that it has not happened since the year one except for the year 1638. Wow, that is a long time. So it is a long time. Fortunately, we won't have to wait 372 years for the next time for it to happen. That's only going to be in 84 years in 2094. All right, and we're going to get back into those times in just a minute. But, Jeff, just explain to us, in general, what we're seeing when we watch a total eclipse of the moon. What happens is the moon passes through the projected shadow of the Earth. And it does this, of course, in stages. Uh, during the middle of the eclipse, it's always the most interesting time to observe because we never really know what the color of the moon is going to be. It doesn't usually totally disappear unless the atmosphere of the Earth has got lots of haze and aerosols and stuff in it. Right. Uh, it can it, be coppery colored, right, as the video we're showing is uh, giving us a picture of? That, that's correct. Uh, very coppery colored, sometimes very red in color. Sometimes, such as in 1992, after the eruption of Mount Pinatubo, it can disappear completely. So uh, it's one of those things that, it, it, from a scientific point of view, that's a very interesting way to study the upper atmosphere of the Earth is by looking at the color of uh, lunar eclipses. Right. And uh, so we don't know if it'll be coppery or dark, but uh, we do know that you don't have to have a telescope to see this tonight, and it is totally safe to look at it. Sometimes I think people get confused about that, but it should be directly overhead, and we're not talking about a solar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is totally safe to see. That's right. Uh, uh, lunar eclipses are uh, best enjoyed uh, either with a small telescope like this one if you happen to have it or uh, best uh, with binoculars, the naked eye, whatever you happen to have available. The one thing that I can tell you is it'll take a long time to happen. It's about three and a half hours for the really long, for yeah. the for the uh, for it to go through all its phases. Uh, so bundle up and stay warm if yes. you're planning to be out to watch the whole thing. Let's run through those phases one more time. The partial phase begins at about 1:33. Begins said. at about 1:30. Uh, the total phase begins at 2:40. The middle of the eclipse is 3:17. The end of the total phase is 3.53 p.m., and the end of the partial phase is about 5 o'clock in the morning. All right, you planning to get some pictures? I'm hoping to if the clouds hold off. Yes, I hope the clouds do hold off. We certainly know it's be going to be cold enough. There could be a couple of little clouds coming in later tonight, Jeff. Hopefully they will just be thin. And that might not be the only thing coming into town, too. We'll talk more about uh, the weather forecast when I join you downstairs. But great moon viewing tonight. You might want to check out it uh, passing through the shadow of the Earth. It's just hours away. Sean and Brian? I'm going to take your word for it, Sue, and check out his pictures tomorrow. <laughs> Sean says she's going to check out your pictures. All right, stay warm, Sean. <laughs> you guys do. Thanks, Sue.